In this video, I want to take a look at properties of angles. Now, to start with here, let's just quickly discuss the different types of angles that we'll come across in GCSE Maths. The first one here, which we can see here now, is a right angle. And this is two lines that meet at 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees. And rather than using this curved angle that we can see here, we draw a little square to represent a right angle on 90 degrees there. Okay, so this is a right angle. That's a right angle. So an angle here that's less than 90 degrees, this is what we call an acute angle. So an acute angle. For an angle that's greater than 90 degrees, like we can see here, this is what we call an obtuse angle. So that's obtuse. And then finally, we have the case where we have an angle that's greater than 180 degrees, and we call this a reflex angle. Okay, and you need to be familiar, familiar with all these different types of angles. Okay, that's a reflex angle there. So let's take a look now at another property here. So this is angles on a straight line. And you need to be familiar with the idea that angles on a straight line add 280 degrees. So these two angles here, A and B, must add 280 degrees. So A plus B is equal to 180 degrees there. Okay, so in this case, if A is 100, so if A is 100, then B must be 80. Okay which would give us 180 degrees there. So there we have it. So just remember that angles on a straight line add 280 degrees. Take a look now at the next property here, which is angles around a point. So you need to be familiar with the idea that angles around a point add to 360 degrees. So if I've got my point here, which we can see, well, angle A plus angle B plus angle C must be equal to 360 degrees. So A plus B plus C in this case, is equal to 360 degrees there. Moving on to the next property now of angles in a quadrilateral. So angles in a quadrilateral add to 360 degrees. So in this case, A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 360 degrees there. Okay. I remember a quadrilateral is just a four-sided shape, so we'll have four angles, four sides. So obviously that includes squares and rectangles. They also do have 360 degrees um, for the sum of all four angles there. Okay, so that's angles in a quadrilateral. Moving on to the next property of angles in a triangle. So angles in a triangle add 280 degrees. And again, these are just the things that we need to remember here. So in this case, A plus B plus C, that would give me 180 degrees. Okay, so obviously if we know two of the angles, and we can work out the remaining angle by adding those two together and then subtracting that from 180. Okay, so angles in a triangle add 280 degrees. And moving on to the final property here, we're looking at vertically opposite angles. So vertically opposite angles are equal. So what we're saying here is this angle A is the same as this angle A here. So if this was, say, 80 degrees, then this one that's vertically opposite here would also be 80 degrees. If B here was 100 degrees, and this one that's vertically opposite here will also be 100 degrees there. Okay. And there we have it. So that gives us all our angle properties. And that brings us to the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to take a look at exam revision for angles.